Edition. Felul în care l-am convins pe Tom să vină aici a fost că i-am spus că i-am difuzat piesa anul trecut. So welcome Tom. Tom Bena. No, 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 no. Yeah. Louder. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Bună stela, yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing? Seara, seara, nu stela. Bună ste- seara. Seara. Yeah. Yes, Bună so stela. Hello, welcome how are you? Tom. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's been a year since we first heard your song, found what I've been looking for, mm-hmm. and I played it on the radio, and the immediate reaction was, yeah, thank you we so really much. found it. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, and then you followed uh, that smash hit yeah. with uh, some more wonderful songs, yeah. and we kept playing them uh, in heavy rotation, and uh, mm-hmm. I must say, being a radio guy, Um, you're always afraid when you find a new artist like yeah. you with a good song. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're afraid that it could end up uh, being a, a one-hit wonder. Yeah. But uh, it wasn't your case. Were you ever afraid um, it would go that way? Uh, no, because I knew that I had. I, I knew without sounding like um, I know. I think that I'm, that I'm the best, but I'm not. I'm, <laughs> but I know that I've got a good song, so I wasn't afraid of putting out more songs and and putting them out to the world and hopefully getting the reaction that they have done. So I'm really, really happy. And the fact that I'm in Romania now and I've just played the show and there's loads of people singing the song is just, it's crazy for they me. They all knew, yeah. I yeah, know, the lyrics it's, it's amazing. It's so amazing. you already had the rest of the songs uh, written, yeah. part of them. Yeah, and part of them, yeah. When when found my, what I've been looking for came out, I was still writing for the um, for the album. For so. this amazing, yeah. Yeah, Although yeah. we have it here, yeah. lighting yeah. matches. Yeah. Anyway, for the first uh, part of this interview, nothing about the music, okay? Okay. Uh, being an ex-football player, player and yeah. a fan of course can you mm. comment England's performance of the world championship this year uh, I think it was absolutely amazing um, indeed I think the whole world cup in general was 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 a beautiful thing I think especially for the English indeed. and being at home in England um, it bought and England's going through a very tough time at the moment with all that kind of Uh, Brexit stuff yeah, and all that, which, yeah. which I don't agree with at all. Um, but the but, but the but the country is very divided into two. So the football definitely b- brought people back together, and and it and it felt like um, we felt it felt like a beautiful thing was happening. So hmm. yeah, it was good. Uh, by the way, could you imagine the ideal football team uh, that could win the World Cup, but fully out of artists or musicians? Uh, Come on, try. If well, you'd need me in there. Yeah, of but, course. Yeah. <laughs> what, uh, what would you be? Uh, where would I be? What, yeah, yeah. No, uh, I'd be a centre midfielder, like a Paul, uh, like a Paul Scholes. All right. Or um, All right. Or, a, or a Robert Perez. Okay. And yeah. the team, the rest of the team. Um, only musicians. All the musicians in goal. Who would I have in goal? <laughs> I'd have. Um, I don't know. Imagine a tall one. Yeah. Could I, I could put anyone in goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. I'd put, I'd put Prince in goal. Prince? Yeah, because he'd nice. be dancing about just yeah. or, okay. or okay. little Richie. Or little Richie. Alright. Alright. Um left back I'd put I put James Bear at left back because he's really good at football. Alright. Um in the center I'd put um I'd put God, this is hard. I'd put Bugsy Malone in center back. <laughs> no way. I'd put um who else I'd put? I'd put Skepta. Let in centre back as well because he's a big guy. All right. Skip and then <laughs> right back, I'd put I put Oli Mers. He's, he's quite a good footballer. Mm. Uh, in midfield, I'd have me. You. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'd put. God, this is hard. I don't know. Who else? Who, who do you think would be a good footballer? Give me. I don't know. Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney <laughs> would be a good footballer. Yeah. Yeah. I'd put um, him up there. I'd put Elvis Presley in, in my team. All right. Yeah. Just because uh, Tom, he, Jones, the Tom Jones. No, I wouldn't put no. Tom Jones in there. No, but I put, put I put Elvis because all the all the women would love him and <laughs> oh, and, <laughs> and, and we bring we bring the fans in. Um, and up front, I'd probably have someone like uh, Kanye West. All right. <laughs> just, just because he'd be like, "Whoa, where are you going? What are you doing?" Yeah. And then I'd have um, Alex Turner up front as well. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, uh, looking back now uh-huh. uh, and uh, going back, like with the time machine, between playing uh, for Manchester United, your favorite team, yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, your current musical career, what would you choose? I would choose this. This. Um, oh. I think I, I would. Don't get me wrong. I'd love to. I'd love to have a have a time at a little like an hour at Man United but I think this lifestyle definitely suits me more than, than a footballer anyway <laughs> and we thank you for this thank you yeah. but as a United Manchester fan what song of yours would would you like the gallery to sing and uh, on Old Trafford um, I'd say I'd probably probably Lucky Ones 
All right. Can you give us an example of the sound of the gallery with your song? Um, what do you mean? Uh, I don't know. Oh, no, 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 no. All oh, right. Right. Oh, kind of that. Uh, yeah. We are the lucky ones. 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 Manchester! Hey, hey! Yeah. We should send them this, yeah. <laughs> yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a former professional player, you had uh, to go through hard discipline. Yeah. Are you uh, applying it as a musician? Yeah. Are you training daily yeah. as a musician? I think as a musician, it's it's very it's it's very similar um, to being to being in being an athlete. You have to be fit. To, and you have to be fit to be dancing around stage and and singing like singing it singing you have to use your use your diaphragm, diaphragm yeah, um, yeah. so it takes a lot out of you and also when I was playing football I, I, I learned a lot of discipline and, and and respect as well it's not it's not just you do your music and you're good you, you have to treat others with respect and and you have to be kind and you have to but you also have to be professional as well you have to be on the game you can't be like with music a lot of things come with music where you can there's a lot of alcohol involved because it's there you know after a show you drink a lot but you've you've got to be you've got to have your head on the game you're like ah, i don't know if i can do that because i've got a show tomorrow you know but uh it can uh, be said uh, that you are a rock star you look and act like one anyway uh, sex drugs and rock and roll Is it still available yeah. for the industry Why for not? you? For me, it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And speaking of alcohol, yeah. uh, there's this story on the internet uh, about your musical career, basically starting after you played the song at a house party for your friends. Yeah. And it was uh, Seaside from Se the Cooks. Yeah. Which will also play uh, here at Summer Roll Festival. Yeah, yeah. Are they coming tomorrow, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I know. I, I know Luke pretty well. So really? it, yeah, it's, it's pretty oh. crazy. Uh, it happens to be one of my favorite songs. Really? So yeah, I love it. Uh, would you sing us a part of it? Uh, Because huh? we want to come on, play it. Okay. To look. I'm go, what, how, what, how's it go again? I forgot. Do you want to go to the seaside? I'm not trying to say. Do everybody wants to go. I fell in love at the seaside. Boom. Take me to your band, man. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make sure that it will get to the cooks tomorrow. Wicked. I, uh, I've repeatedly listened to your song and airplay, Lucky Ones. Uh, is there a story behind this but, song? But behind Lucky Ones? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, I kind of, basically, how it happened, I, I, wrote it with, I wrote it with a good friend of mine called Paddy Byrne. Um, and I'd never met him before. Really? No, so I was it's going into a room with, with, with another man wanting to write a proper like a, and I wanted to write a song that I because I felt lucky I was in I was in a period of my time where I was like wow things are things are going crazy for me right now um but I what I need but with me I need someone I need someone to look after me as well because if and I don't know why I do but I do I'm that kind of guy who I need I need someone there to look after me and it was and I had that person there looking after me so I wanted to write a song which meant basically I was saying thank you to the person I was and also that we are all lucky we're all we're breathing we're living we're hmm. we're experiencing this crazy time and and yeah it's it's, it's cool uh, for me it sounds like a generation's anthem yeah thank, thank you, you for that thank you so much we've heard that uh, Elton John is uh, your fan yeah. any other oh, famous yeah. fans yeah but him any other famous fans uh I don't know. I've, 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 I've spoken. I've spoken. Dave Grohl knows about, about really. About the music. Nice. Yeah. Oh. So I've spoken. What about Alex Turner? I know there's yeah. this story of. Yeah. I've, I've, do you know what? I've, I know all the other. I know like um, all the other Arctic Monkeys now, but I, I've never actually met um, Alex Turner apart from in the toilet. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And when I met him, because he's a, I'm, he's a, as like writing goes and as his music goes, he's one of my heroes. I love him. Um, so I met him in the toilet and I kind of was like. We're having a wee, and I, uh, uh, I looked over. I was like, "Right, mate, uh, like that." Let's make a song together. Uh, yeah. And he was right like, here. And he was like, "Hey, man, what you doing?" <laughs> so I was like, "So I just ran away." <laughs> you know, there is uh, that saying that uh, you have your whole life to write your debut. Yeah. And uh, now your sophomore album has to come uh, yeah. much quicker. Yeah. How do you feel about it? Um, I'm excited. I can't wait to start writing. I'm. Because, like, like I said, the album that I've, that I've, that's out, it has, 
it has all my feelings and all, all what's happened in my in my life before that. But right now I've got I'm experiencing stuff. I'm taking, I'm absorbing, and I'm and I'm learning and I'm I'm creating memories. So I'm going to be writing about all this crazy stuff that's going on. So yeah, I'm excited. We too. All right, thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you so you. much. And, uh, nice tattoo, by the way. Romania, I love you so much. You, I'll you, be coming back. You have a girl there with a yeah. record player. Yeah, yeah. Do you collect vinyl? Yeah, of course. Uh, by the way, to our listeners, uh, your mm -hmm. debut album is also available yeah. on limited edition red vinyl. Red vinyl, Go for yeah. that. Called Light and Matches. Tell your mums, tell your dads, yeah. tell your grandparents. And tell your bin man about it, because Light and Matches <laughs> is out. Thank you, thank Tom. Thank you so much, Tom. Thank you so much. Summerwell, un festival orange.